Welcome to A Course in Miracles with a Ho'oponopono lens. We're on Lesson 294 in the workbook. My body is a holy, neutral thing. I am a child of God. And can I be another thing as well? Did God create the mortal and corruptible? What use has God's beloved child for what must die? And yet a neutral thing does not see death, for thoughts of fear are not invested there, nor is a mockery of love bestowed upon it. Its neutrality protects it while it has a use, and afterwards, without a purpose, it is laid aside. It is not sick, nor old, nor hurt, but it is functionless, unneeded, and cast off. Let me not see it more than this today, of service for a while, and fit to serve, to keep its usefulness while it can serve, and then to be replaced for greater good. My body, Father, cannot be your son, and what is not created cannot be sinful nor sinless, neither good nor bad. Let me then use this dream to help your plan that we awaken from all dreams we made. As I was reading, a quote from Bashar came to mind, and basically we give solidity to our reality, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't remember the exact quote, but basically, we give solidity to our reality by our beliefs. Everything in this world is neutral. But when we put our beliefs into something, that's when we solidify what we're believing in. So, for instance, if we say, if I go outside with wet hair, I'm going to catch a cold. That is a belief that many parents implant into their children. But if you go to different cultures, they don't have that belief and they don't catch colds. I was in Germany and I don't know if it was particular to German cats or this particular retreat center that I worked in, but the cats did not scratch at their owners. A lot of owners in America, their cats, excuse me, a lot of cats would scratch at their owners. And, you know, this is from different friends that I've been with in America. Like if I visited them, I would see cats scratching at their owners. Or when I was younger, my friends would say my cat scratched me, but not one instance of that happened at the retreat center where I was at in Germany. And also, I was not allergic to those cats in Germany. I don't know if, if it was because uh, the place was clean every single day, like they vacuumed every day. Um, I don't know if it was particular to that particular species of cats, but I was not allergic to them. Go figure. Just like in Mexico, now, it could be the cigarette had a type of um, chemical, but I was allergic to Mexican cigarettes. I would start coughing. So, I don't know. It's just food for thought. What are our beliefs contributing to? Our body is neutral, but we do not grow up in a neutral world. This is a dualistic world. So, I would caution you to think about what are your beliefs concerning your body. If you eat ice cream every day, do you think you're going to get fat or, or do you think you're going to become diabetic? I'm not saying to eat ice cream every day. I'm saying to do all things with divinity. Uh, what do you believe in as far as eating hamburgers? I think this was Joe Vitale and Dr. Hugh Lynn. They were eating dinner together and Dr. Hugh Lynn ordered a burger and Dr. Vitale was like, oh my gosh, you can eat a hamburger? And I think Dr. Hugh Lynn also smoked, if I'm remembering correctly. 
um, or said it's okay to smoke cigars. And Dr. Vitali was like, what? So if you're doing things unto God and um, you know it's unto God, you're not trying to appease your human part of you. But if you're really doing something unto God, then you should not be getting any harmful effects, truly. So what happens if you've been implanted or mesmerized by some belief that you had no part of, that it was just implanted into you? Say, for instance, if you go outside with wet hair, you're going to catch a cold. You can do Ho'oponopono. You bring up the thought and... You say, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. To divinity or to divinity, you could say, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. What that does is over time, it's going to uproot that thought and um, you will be able to go outside without catching a cold. Also, divinity is reminding me in the springtime, I used to catch a cold around March and uh, I had went to Canada and in March it was cold. I wasn't used to the cold and someone opened the window when I was sleeping. And um, so there was that belief being in 40 degree weather, 30 degree weather and the window was open while you're sleeping you can catch a cold. And so ironically, that was impressed upon me. So ever since then, although, you know, I've done Ho'oponopono and work over that belief. Uh, so ever since that time in March, I would catch in March a cold every year, whether I was in California or Mexico. I don't think I was Mexico in March, but you, you get what I'm saying. Wherever I was in the world, whether it be in a temperate zone or something where the weather was colder, I would catch a cold in March just because that was what my subconscious was implanted with. And so I ask you to question your beliefs and do Ho'oponopono. I um, admonish you to do Ho'oponopono over those beliefs where you're not believing in the neutrality of your body. Okay, so that is it for today. I hope you're having a wonderful day or evening wherever you're at in the world. Talk to you later. Bye.